Hi right, guys, um, another quick tip here for you. Uh, one of the things that I'm asked a lot is how do I actually manage to use all the Hella um, eye bolts, um, not eye bolts, sorry, uh, dead eyes, um, <clears throat> and the blocks. Um, and I will admit they are an absolute nightmare to use if you're using them straight um, straight off of here um, without doing any kind of modifications to them. But hopefully um, in a couple of minutes I'll show you how you can use these blocks um, perfectly fine. Um, you know, without costing a fortune by buying aftermarket ones. Um, you know, so um, I'm not going to take one off of here at the moment because obviously I'll end up losing it. But I've got a spare block there that I can use. Now this has just been taken off. Okay, there's absolutely, we can see this, there's no groove, okay, or channel around the side of the block for the rope okay to sit him for when you want to um, rig this up and do the tackle um, but there is an easy way of doing it okay all you need is a couple of tools okay you just need a nice sharp knife okay because what I'm gonna do is I'm just literally going to shave off make that bit there smooth smoothing it out a bit here okay now the typical Hella blocks down the outside of them have these tiny little plastic pins which are designed really to grip the, the thread for when you do the tackle, but they don't work very well at all. In fact, they're almost pointless. Um, you know, but you can understand it from Hella's point of view, trying to, to mould these, these, and they are very nice blocks, but at the same time doing the moulding so they've got a channel around them, that's probably a logistical nightmare from their point of view, I would have thought. Um, you know, but anyway, all you need, there's your block, which is reasonably, it's nice and smooth, okay, all you need are small files, mini, mini files, okay, I have a round one, this one, it's perfectly round as you can see, okay, these I tend to use for the larger blocks like this one, okay, and this one, you can see it, I'll try and get it so you can see it, is square, okay, I use this one for the thinner blocks, the tight, the smaller blocks, um, and I'll explain why in a minute, okay, so all you're doing here is where you want to make a channel for the rope to sit in, okay, pinch your block nice and tight so that the file stays centre, in the center of that block, okay? You don't want it off to the left or the right, you want it roughly in the middle, okay? And then all we're doing is giving this a rub. Okay, there goes my gloves. And if you can see now, I have a channel. Okay? So when I put the, the, um, the thread around this and then obviously start to lash it, okay? The rope's got a channel to sit in and doesn't end up falling off the side, um, which is what the common problem is with the Heller blocks. Okay, now I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. Just a quick grab. And as you can see, we have a channel. Okay, that one's gone a little bit off to the right, so we just go more to the left. And there we go. Sorry, there you go. Nice channel. Okay, now all my blocks get painted, um, so these these are going to be painted wood um, to appear like wooden blocks, um, which is extremely time consuming, so it's really important that I have all this done beforehand. Um, so all I'll do now is give this a, a good coat of paint, weather it to look like warm wood, and then I can tackle it up because I've now got a channel, okay, that the thread will now sit in. So that when I tighten it up, when I when I do all the lashings and that, it will tighten up nicely, and the, the line will sit in that channel and not on on a flat surface where it can just fall off. Um, for the th smaller blocks, you don't want to use the round one 
because the, the width of the block is so much smaller. Okay, you're just gonna, yeah? So what you do, using this square one, I use the very, very pointy edge, edge of the square, okay? Yeah? And do the same thing. Hold it central with your fingers, do the same thing. But because you're using the edge of the square file, you get a very, very fine channel instead of a wider channel using the round one. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and there you go, that is it. That is how you make the channels, okay, for a hella block, all right? You know, they are nice blocks. They are they are beautiful. The ropes sit in them nicely, um, etc. It's just obviously they, it's very difficult to make mouldings with those channels in them as well. So you can either spend out a lot of money on aftermarket um, blocks, um, which, you know, after I built my victory, you know, um, if I'd bought the blocks, it would have been exceptionally um, costly. So this is the method I use with the victory. You know, my victory, all, all of them are the, um, apart from the dead eyes, um, all the blocks themselves are actually the hella ones, which um, I've done the same modification I've done here, which made it so much easier. It, it, this, this little technique here will make this just as simple to tackle up as any wood block. Okay, it's a little bit more fiddly on the tinier, uh, the tiny blocks, because obviously you've got to use that finer edge on the square file. Um, but it's exactly the same, you know, you, no different than a um, aftermarket wood block, okay? Um, obviously, on the Solio Royale, like I did with the Victory, I don't like all this shiny black plastic. Um, so even if I was gonna have these black, um, I'd paint them matte, they'd all get painted. The same goes with all my guns. You know, it doesn't matter if they're all with a similar color to what you want them in the end, you know, they need painting. Um, otherwise, they just look like a lump of plastic. Um, but yeah, there you go. So hopefully you can see the channels that I've put in them. There you go. And the same on this side. If it focuses, it will focus in a minute. Maybe it won't. There you go. Yeah. So when I do the tackle, run the rope round, it will sit in that channel nicely as I tighten it up and it won't flip off to the side, which is what the common problem is with these sort of blocks. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hopefully, um, for anyone that's building the, the Hella Victory or the Hellas La Solier Well. Um, a tiny little tip to uh, make using the blocks a lot easier. These these come in. A, I mean, I've got these in a set. I've got I don't know about thirty or forty of them. They all came in one set off eBay. Didn't cost much. Um, just small hobby files. Um, you've got round ones, flat ones, square ones. Um, but yeah, for this small round, small small square. Um, and it, as you saw with this block, it took seconds. It didn't take long, um, and it will make your job so much easier. All right. Um, anyway, hope that helps. Um, <clears throat> if you want any more help or any more information, check out my Instagram page at, um, at RJ Scale Ships. Um, and yeah, keep on building, guys. Cheers. Speak to you later.